Hello, and welcome to Hoffman on Politics. It's me, Jordan Hoffman, an uninformed voter. I don't know anything about the issues, and that's and I get to vote because we live in a kooky country. But my vote doesn't count because I live in New York City, so uh, our primaries are late, and it's like 99.9% .9 Democrat, so it's all academic. Anyway, there's a candidate for president named Amy K. Her last name is hard to pronounce, and because I only read the internet and occasionally a newspaper when I am, like, out somewhere and I got to kill time, I will buy a newspaper. I don't get delivered anymore because I'm not, you know, I'm not that old. But I do, um, but because I don't watch television and I sometimes listen to public radio, but as soon as they start talking, I switch the channel. So um, I don't know how Amy K pronounces her last name, but there's a song by Cream called Swallaber, and I'm going to call her Amy Swallaber. That's, yeah, this song. I think her last name is Klabuchar. Is that really her name? Let me look it up. Do you know this song? This song is great. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah. This is a great song. Amy K. Amy K is running for president. Where's my window? I lost it. Amy K is running for president. All right, here's the deal. Amy K's got my vote, right? I used to be all in favor of Kamala Harris. She's old news. Amy K's where it's at, and I'll tell you why. She's getting flack today on the internet because she was out doing her thing. I didn't read the article. I only read the tweets. She was out doing her thing, uh, you know, doing, I guess she's a senator or something, and she was running around, uh, and she had a busy morning, and she hadn't eaten. And this is dangerous. She could, for all we know, have uh, low blood pressure, low blood sugar, high blood pressure, high blood sugar. You got to eat. Some people can go a long time between meals and others cannot. Uh, Amy Kay was on a plane and one of her assistants got her her lunch, which was a salad because, you know, she's in politics. They can't eat hamburgers all day. And um, uh, forgot to get a fork. And she's on the plane. The doors lock. And I guess it's some kind of special plane for senators. And uh, there was no forks on the plane. So she's like, oh, my God, I got to eat my salad. What the hell's going on? So she reached in her purse and got a comb and started, well, she has, and she, so she starts eating with a comb and the internet's going crazy. Now, here's the, the thing. If you're going to be president of the United States, you got to think on your feet. And I think what Amy Kay did was great because it showed that she has, uh, she can think outside of the box and when there's a problem, she solves it. It's not the greatest to eat a salad with a comb. I've never done it. Uh, then there's the, some that say it's not um, sanitary. Uh, I would imagine she wiped it first with a napkin or, God forbid, her shirt or something like that. And so there's no problem. Eat your salad with a comb. It's either that or use your hands, which is undignified. I mean, what if somebody had taken a photo? Um, I think a photo of her eating with a hands, a salad, is crazy. And with a comb, first of all, who would know? And second of all... Um, it's cute. She's eating a salad with a comb. That's smart. I don't mean cute in some sort of sexist way. I think if it was Beto or Rourke eating with a, a comb, we'd all be doing uh, car wheels. Look at all cutesy Beto, Beto Ray Bill eating with a goddamn comb. That guy singing, uh, what was he singing in the car? Was it Queen? No, it could not have been that cliche. Boston? I don't know. I saw some video of him rocking out. Eh, he's all right. I'll vote for Beto O'Rourke, too. All right. Number one. Amy K is my number one winner. Number two um, is, uh, I guess, um, Kamala Harris still. I don't know why. She seems all right. Then you got, uh, what's her name? Um, you got Cory Booker from New Jersey, and he likes Star Trek. <sighs> Trump's going to win anyway. There's nothing we can do about it. He's got, he's going to destroy all the candidates. That's Hoffman on Politics. Tune in next week.